Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, we're going to make full body workouts fun again. Before I get into this topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. If you need coaching, check out the link down below. And remember, every Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern, I run Massive Iron Live here on the YouTube. All right, live on camera today, I'm going to build what's called the Massive Iron, the Massive Funk Workout. All right, how did I come up with funk? It's full body and junk, so we kind of combined it into funk. What we're going to do is take the full body workout, which can get kind of crammed. It's three days per week, and we're going to expand it into four days per week, but we're going to put a junk day at the end. So we're going to relieve some of the pressure from full body workouts A, B, and C, and move some of that work into a junk day. And I'll explain what a junk workout is for those of you that have never heard the term. All right, so a junk workout is basically a workout where you move anything that really doesn't fit in well to the rest of your workouts into what's called a junk day. Now, in a full body workout, you can try to fit in a lot of work. There are a lot of minor body parts. You might struggle to fit them all in on an A, B, and C full body workout during the week. So by adding a fourth workout, you can move some arm work to your junk day, maybe some trap work, some calf work, uh, some ab work, rear delt work. You can move whatever you want into a junk day and you can cut back a little bit on time and effort in the gym during your full body A, B, and C workouts. You're still going to be getting in your frequency during the week, but by adding a fourth workout, you just kind of reduce that time and overall set pressure per daily session. With that said, I'm going to get into building this live on camera. What I put into this workout is just a general template. You can adjust things however you need. So just consider this to be a general skeleton. Now, a lot of times if you're deadlifting, I like to deadlift in the middle workout of the week. So here you can do threes. You can do, uh, if you don't know what any of these are, hit me up on Instagram at Ben the Barman, uh, and I'll fill you in there. There is a, uh, there are videos on these protocols. So the threes protocol, or you can do the 10 minute rest pause block. So we're going to fit deadlifts in right here. A lot of times uh, what I'll do is put squats here. You can do threes protocol. You can do or straight sets. It doesn't really matter, whatever you want to do. Uh, but we're going to get our three set of three sets of squats in here. And over here, um, what I typically slot in is uh, leg presses. So I got, you put leg press, you're going to put hack squats, some big hitting uh, leg exercise. Now I put bulldozer in here. Uh, you can do straight sets like three by 12, or you can do a bulldozer rest pause protocol. And again, if you don't know what these things are, hit me up. I will send you a video link. So we got kind of our, our quads in here. This is a unicorn lift. We're not going to assign that to our back. We're just going to kind of assign deadlifts in as a unicorn lift, something that kind of hits the entire body that's good for overall muscularity and that we just like to train. If you don't like deadlifts, fine, remove it. So we have our quads in here, quads in here. I'm going to slot in just a, uh, a lighter quad exercise uh, here. And again, it doesn't matter. You don't have to use leg extensions. You don't have to use leg presses. You don't even have to use squats. This is just an example. But here we got our quad exercises in and our unicorn lifts. So we have a good start. Now, quads are done. So I'm going to remove that from the list here. And then we'll bump that up. Um, next, we're going to fill in everybody's favorite exercise, bench press. So we'll do the threes protocol. Or you can do straight sets or whatever you want. We're going to put in our three sets there. Now, uh, we're going to probably put in a military or overhead press, shoulder press here. So instead of uh, putting the dumbbell bench, I'm going to put in a dumbbell bench 
Here you can put an incline bench or whatever variation you want. So we have chest here, chest here, and I'm gonna put in a lighter chest exercise here. You can put in, uh, say, barrel press or dips or whatever you want. We'll put in three by 10. So we can we're gonna, we might move some of these around, so just bear with me, but we're kind of sketching things out a little bit. So we have chest and quads done, we'll remove that. Now we'll work on delts next. So because we have bench here, we're going to put, you can do military press, you can do seated pin press, you can do any barbell overhead press variation you want. I'm just going to put in everybody's favorite military press threes or three by eight there. Uh, here, because we have bench here, I'm going to skip a slot. We're going to do seated dumbbell overhead press for the delts. And we'll put that in as three by 10. And here we need probably a little bit lighter of a shoulder exercise. So you could put in uh, laterals, three by 12 or bulldozer rest spots protocol. And if you wanted, you wouldn't have to do laterals here. You could do an upright row. You could do a machine shoulder press. It really doesn't matter. Uh, so we have delts done. We have three exercises for delts. So basically we're slotting in three exercises uh, one exercise per major body part into each of our full body workouts. And we'll get to this junk day in just a little bit. So back, we're probably going to do some kind of a pull-up here. Uh, and if you can't do pull-ups, that's fine. Uh, you can maybe do lat pull-downs or something like that. We'll put uh, pull-ups or lat pull-downs. Now, we want to get a row in here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just put dumbbell or Pendley row, um, we'll put dumbbell row, you know, like three by 10, or Pendley row three by eight, whatever, rep ranges don't matter. And here we're gonna squeeze in uh, like a seated table row, um, or you can put in a machine row or whatever you want. We'll put three by 12 or bulldozer rest pause. This is a, what I do for a lot of my clients. I give them the option of straight sets or rest pause. So we have back in. So we have all of our major body parts covered, basically one exercise per day on our three full body days. And we're gonna fill in the gaps with these uh, minor body parts here in just a second. Now I'm gonna move this around a little bit. I will bump leg extensions up here. So we have pull downs, we have shoulders, uh, we have chest. I really don't wanna do shoulders and chest back to back. So I'm going to move that down. We'll, we'll maybe put the chest as a priority and then we'll move the side laterals to the end. So let's tidy this up just a little bit. Okay, so now I'm probably gonna fill in hamstrings and then we'll kind of deal with arm work in just a second. So hamstrings, we have our deadlifts here. A lot of people like to do Romanian deadlifts. And the order doesn't matter. You can shuffle this around if you want. We'll put two to three sets in by A reps. And we'll kind of put leg curls in. What I like to do with hamstrings is fill in about two exercises per week. You don't have to have one exercise per body part per day on a full body workout. So we have hamstrings out of the way. If this imbalance messes with you, you can certainly add another hammy exercise on junk day. The point here is we're trying to reduce the overall pressure or volume during these days. And then if you want to add in extra work, you can add it in on this junk day. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to attack arms next. So I'm just going to put in a biceps exercise here. Dumbbell curls three by 10. Now, don't get upset. We're going to fill in some extra bicep work on our junk day. So we got that out of the way. And then we're going to fill in some triceps work. We're going to do maybe like a, a jam press three by 12. A cable tricep extension, cable triceps extension, three by 12. So we have six sets of triceps here. So let's bump that up a little bit. Now, basically, we have six exercises per day, which is about where I like to be. It will keep you in the gym maybe about 70, 75 minutes. This is about perfect for me or for the average individual. So you can see here, we're keeping kind of the basic structure of a full body workout. We're gonna move some of this work over to the junk day, that fourth day to relieve some pressure. So we can see we need a little bit of extra arm work 
we're going to start with uh, maybe we'll, we'll do this. We'll do an easy bar curl, um, like three by 12. And we want some more uh, benching and maybe some more, um, some more, uh, you know, triceps action. You could even do like, you could do a close grip bench three by eight, or if you want to get in more bench work, you could add in a Larson press, you know, three by six or whatever you wanted, add in a little bit more bench work. So here you have triceps and you have biceps. You could even add in more work if you wanted to add in a hammer curl, if you wanted to go that route, uh, you could put that in as well. Uh, there are really no rules. So maybe you want to add in traps. You put in your favorite shruggy exercise, right? It doesn't really matter. We'll just put shrugs three by 12. And then uh, you see you have room for calves and abs. Maybe you don't like to train your calves. That's fine. Maybe you do your abs there. And maybe you do your, uh, to honor uh, athlete next, you do your face pulls or rear delt swings or whatever you want for rear delts. So you can see, let me just get rid of this. You can see we just filled out our junk day with whatever we wanted to flesh things out, to round them out a little bit. This is kind of going to be a lighter type of workout because it doesn't have as many big hitting compound exercises. So you could even add in a seventh or eighth exercise if you wanted on that day, and it probably wouldn't put you in a crunch for time. So guys, if you have any questions about this, any of these protocols that I mentioned, the threes protocol, hit me up on DM on Instagram at Ben the Barman or email me Ben the Barman at gmail.com. So there you have it. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment down below. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.